The gauge pod has an OLED display. Uh, we've actually animated some of the graphics. You can see in here we've got the engine moving, the crankshaft is rotating around, and you can see uh, exhaust pulses and intake pulses on the screen as well. Uh, this displays temperature. This screen is in degrees Celsius right now. Pressures, uh, there's the pressure sensors. Uh, same animation on this screen. Now, um, nothing's hooked up to this right now, so these are just kind of floating around. Here's an animation that we've been working on. Uh, we're going to include animations in the efficiency and vane position screens. So let me toggle display off. Efficiency, the turbo shaft speed is zero, so it's showing an error right now in kilo RPM. Pressure ratio is also just printing to the screen at this point. Vane position. Now if I go ahead and extend the vanes, you can hear them going in the background right now, I push the engine brake button um, and you can see the screen is flashing red and it's saying that the vanes have been fully extended. Uh, soon we're going to have an animation. Uh, I'll put some CAD uh, files in here that actually show the vanes moving. Uh, you see we toggle the screen, it still has the red box around it for the engine brake that tells you that the engine brake is on and the vanes have extended. And that persists through all of the screens, pressures, here's our animation screen, it's just our temporary screen, display off. Even with no graphics on the display and a display off, the engine brake still displays so that you know that it's engaged. Um, that's an important safety feature. So toggle back to vane position, push the engine brake off, back to zero. The other thing we've put into here is a USB port so that you can log directly from the gauge pod. Uh, that's something that uh, personally I've wanted to see in the product for a long time, but uh, we kind of realized it. Uh, so the, uh, the logging can be done right from the gauge. You don't have to have anything plugged into OBD2 or anything like that because you've got your sensors all in the turbo controller itself.